My name is Tim Ramey. I'm with IT Supplies. I'm here at Print 19 at the, in Chicago, Illinois. I'm showing the new Epson P7570 uh, 24 inch printer using the new Ultra Chrome Pro 12 ink set. Um, some new features on the new printer that are very exciting. We can now finally see inside the glass with a light that you could turn on and off, um, which is a very nice feature. We have a nice dust cover here that has a rubber gasket to prevent dust from getting into the printer. A new touch panel here that seems to be very responsive. Um, really nice color touch screen. Um, and also some other new features. We're almost two and a half times faster um, with a much larger print head and uh, a wider color gamut, which we're gonna show in just a little bit here. And now there's no black switching of ink. So it actually has a dedicated line for photo black and matte black. And instead of 11 lines, we have 12 now. So we're allowed to have the violet ink and the light light black in line at the same time. Um, so I'm gonna hand it over to Sal, uh, that's gonna talk about what we did to build our color gamut here uh, at Print 19. I'm Sal Passanisi with x ray Pantone. Live at Print 19, we actually ran live the new Epson printer as well as i1 Profiler 3 as well as the i1 Pro 3 Plus. We used that with the I.O. table to make the profile. We used EFI XF to do the linearization as well as the ink limiting using an i1 Pro 2. Big differences between the two, but we wanted to be a, have it be a fair battle. We then made a profile with no optimization and got 99.7% of the Pantone coded library with the Epson out of the game. Very well done. Jim, no optimization. Sal, no optimization on the process. I'd like to show you the two new devices. So this is the i1 IO Gen 3 table that goes with the i1 Pro 3 Plus. Couple large differences, new lighting, eight millimeter aperture, polarization, M0, M1, and M2 simultaneously. You notice a big difference between the i1 Pro 2, very good for cut sheets still, but when you start to do proofing, canvas, fabric, the i1 Pro 3 Plus is the solution for that. We basically then pulled it into Pantone Live, the profile that we created, and we're able to see that we have 99.7% of the Pantone coded library and under a two delta E. Couple highlights out of the gate without any spot color optimization. We're able to hit a reflex blue at 1.3 delta E and a rhodamine red at 1.0 delta E. Very tough without the new device and the new gamut. So an excellent solution. We ran it live. Epson's been over here. We've had a lot of people come over just amazed with the solution. It's a great combination. Look forward to seeing you at the SGIA slash Print United Expo in two weeks where we'll be running live again. Thanks and have a great day.